is Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com. And the question I got um, issued today was, can you do paddle expansion the same time that you have brackets and wires on? And my answer is absolutely yes, you totally can. Usually you're gonna be doing a fixed expander or a rapid paddle expander. Some people call it, call it an RME. Um, so it's not gonna be something that looks like this or looks like this. It's gonna be something that looks more like this. Usually it's banded, sometimes it's bonded. My preference, of course, is banded because it's more hygienic. Sometimes they put acrylic up here, not my preference because, again, not hygienic, gets really gross. I've actually seen palatal perforations that happens when they don't clean under there. So we want to have the really hygienic type of banded expander would be my, my recommendation. Um, the reason sometimes people do the bonded ones is that it helps prevent the bite from opening up, but you can get so much decay around the teeth. Another way you can do it is just to put some bite bumps on the areas where you have inclusion and they're just temporary um, on the opposite arch and then they're just hitting high on those and that works just as well to me, I found. And then easy to take off, right? And no risk of decay. All right, so yeah, if you're gonna do the banded one, you wanna make sure you ask for um, buckle soldered buckle tubes on your appliance so the lab slip is going to say please fabricate um, maxillary paddle expander with bands and soldered buckle tubes is going to be your your lab slip for that you can also do a banded expander on the lower and i have other videos about lower expansion what it means how it's different and really everything you need to know about expansion is actually, I believe in its own channel. I believe I created a, a channel for that. If you go into you, my YouTube, which is Street Smile Solutions, and just go on my main page, there should be a playlist for that, I believe. If not, you can search in the top right-hand corner with the magnifying glass and just put in like RPE or Paddle Expander and all my playlists, everything you need to know is in there. So back to brackets and wires, yes you can, but I would never go more than 16 night tie. So usually when I start a case, and if you've watched my um, wire sequence videos, if you wanna watch them, you can, you can go into my playlist, which is the straight wire playlist, or just look up the keyword wire sequence. And usually my first wire is gonna be the biggest possible round wire I can put in. It's normally a 14 or a 16, sometimes it's an 18, sometimes it's a 12. But if you're going to do paddle expansion, you don't want to have a heavy wire on. You don't want to be doing like steel wires or 1825 night ties because that thicker wire is going to prevent the transverse expansion. A really light 14 night tie is not going to prevent it. That thing is like super light. So that's fine. Now, in theory, just to add this, I know I said that you needed a fixed banded or bonded expander in order to do brackets. Better banded because then you can put it in the molar tubes but you could theoretically do it with a Schwartz retainer, like something like uh, this, okay? Can't do it with this, because this one, on this expander, they have a bar. Again, if you have a labial bow, it's probably not gonna expand very well. So my preference is not to put labial bows on Schwartz expanders, not my preference. You'll expand more this way and not up here. Um, but like something like this you could see there's an expander there The problem is, is that they make the acrylic adapt really well to the front teeth for retention And then those teeth aren't going to start auto aligning if you've got all this acrylic locking in the back So you'd have to go with a slow speed handpiece and smooth this all out So a little bit risky because then your appliance may not fit as well if you do that And also keep in mind if you do that you got the clasp back here So you could only put brackets on the front four or front six teeth, depending on where your clasps are. So it's really not super necessary, but if it makes the patient happy you, and you still have retention, you could do it. I don't know if it's gonna speed anything up. It's more for like psychosocial reasons, but you know. So again, can't do it if there's a labia bow, but you could cut the labia bow off, but then you might lose retention. So normally I prefer not to do it with the Schwartz. Um, just because if I have to go shaving all this off and I can only do front teeth and sometimes it just won't retain and now we got to make a whole nother expander and I got to pay another lab fee, I'm not going to be happy. So anyways, hopefully that answered your question. All right, keep those questions rolling in and we'll make some answers for you. Thank you.